In the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Glory to you, our God, glory to you. O Heavenly King, the Comforter, Spirit of Truth, everywhere present and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and dwell in us, cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O Good One. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, and Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Blessed are you, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from destruction, and crowns you with steadfast love and tender mercy. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and of great goodness. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Blessed are you, O Lord. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I will praise the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praises to my God while I have being. Put not your trust in princes and sons of men, in whom there is no salvation. When their breath departs, they return to their earth. On that very day all their plans perish. Blessed is the one whose help is the God of Jacob, whose hope is in the Lord he is God, who made heaven and earth the sea and all that is in them. The Lord sets the prisoners free. The Lord opens the eyes of the blind. The Lord lifts up those who are bowed low. The Lord loves the righteous. The Lord watches over the sojourners. He upholds the widow and the orphan. But the way of the wicked he brings to ruin. The Lord will reign forever, your God, O Zion, to all generations. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate. 
of the holy birth giver of God and ever Virgin Mary, and without change became man. You were crucified, Christ God trampling down death by death. You are one of the holy trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit, save us. In your kingdom remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when people shall revile you and persecute you and speak all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Holy Apostles, pray to the merciful God that our souls may be granted forgiveness of sins. As partaker of incorruptible gifts, you were yourself the church's gift, O Theodore. For in following sacred doctrines, you were a light of true profession. Pray to Christ our God to grant us his great mercy. Lord, you have taken them up to eternal rest and the enjoyment of your good things, the preachers of divine truths, the apostles. For you have accepted their struggles and death as a sacrifice, for you know the secrets of hearts. Holy One in Myra, you have shown yourself to be a priestly servant, Venerable, you have fulfilled the gospel of Christ, giving up your soul for your people, and saving the innocent from death. For this reason you have been sanctified by the great mystery of the grace of God. Your life was radiant with your ascetic struggles. O Theodore, blessed of God, and you became a companion of the angels. Together with them intercede with Christ our God, that he may save us all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, with your sins, O oh, 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 Christ. Give rest to the souls of your departed servants, where there is neither pain, sorrow, nor sighing, but life everlasting. 
now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Protection of Christians who is not put to shame. Unchanging mediation before the Creator. Despise not the voice of sinners prayers. But because you are good, quickly come to help us who call on you in faith. Speedily intercede and hastily supplicate, birth giver of God, who always protects those who honor you. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Their voice has gone out into all the earth, and their words to the very ends of the world. The heavens declare the glory of God, and creation proclaims the work of his hands. The reading is from the Epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Colossians. Brethren, I now rejoice in my sufferings for you, and fill up in my flesh what is lacking in the afflictions of Christ, for the sake of his body, which is the church, of which I became a minister, according to the stewardship from God, which was given to me for you, to fulfill the word of God the mystery which has been hidden from ages and, gen and from generations, but now has been revealed to his saints. To them God willed to make known what are the riches of the glory of, of this mystery among the Gentiles, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Him we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. To this end I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, the heaven shall declare your wonders and your truth in the assembly of the saints. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. God is glorified in the council of the saints. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. There were present at that season some who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answered and said to them, do you suppose that these Galileans were worse sinners than all other Galileans because they suffered such things? I tell you, no. 
but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those eighteen on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse sinners than all other men who dwelt in Jerusalem? I tell you no, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. He also spoke this parable. A certain man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came seeking fruit on it and found none. Then he said to the keeper of his vineyard, Look, for three years I have come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. Why does it use up the ground? But he answered him and said, Sir, let it alone this year also, until I dig around it and fertilize it. And if it bears fruit, well. But if not, after that, you can cut it down. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead in accordance with the scriptures and descended into heaven and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, especially Father Daniel, Father John, Father Mark, Matushka Elizabeth, Matushka Catherine, Matushka Myra, the monk Melidius, Ross, Justin, Stephen, Mary, and Roger, Nancy, Claire, Patricia, Mark, Nikolai, Anastasia, Alice, Kathleen, Denise, Denise, Pamela, Robert, Peter, Eric, Michael, Melissa, Mary Ann, Ryan, Joanne, Rosemary, Mary Ann, Emily, Charles, Hank, Nicholas, Katrina, Mary Jane, Nicholas, Alicia, Mary Jo, Clara, Joan, Sarah, Alex, Nicholas, Barbara, Margaret, Patricia, Danielle, Nicholas, Christopher, Tricia, Susan, Christopher, Susan, 
Kathleen, Walter, Patty, Darlene, George, Paul, Michael, Pantelitsa, Darina, Darina, Robert, Timothy, Diana, Diana, Artemis, Jackie, Natalie, Julia, Arthur, and Andrew, and all those we cannot call to mind, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantelemon ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, especially Addie, Mary, Mercha, Michael, and Cornelia, and all those we cannot call to mind, and, those, and all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants, who have departed this life, O Christ our God. To you we send up glory with your eternal Father, and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kitty Eleison, Kitty Eleison, Kitty Eleison. Hospodi pomiloi, Hospodi pomiloi, Hospodi pomiloi. Yara burham, Yara burham. All Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me, a sinner. Establish and give understanding to my heart. Remove every defilement from me. Enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father, Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me. And he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, 
and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. It is truly proper to bless you, birth giver of God, ever blessed and most pure, and the mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without defilement. You gave birth to God, the Word, true birth giver of God. We magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen.